Tonight, the future of Roe versus Wade hangs in the balance. Leaked documents from the Supreme Court spared, uh, um, uh, sparked immediate backlash across the country with groups protesting against the possible reversal of abortion rights. The Supreme Court confirming today the leaked draft opinion in which the conservative majority voted to overturn the landmark decision is in fact authentic. But as emotions run high, the court cautions this is not final, reminding Americans the document dated from back in February is part of a fluid process. If the draft opinion stands, it would be left up to the states to legislate abortion rights. 21 states already have laws in place that would immediately ban abortion if Roe were overturned. President Joe Biden says his office is already preparing for the outcome, but called on American voters to elect pro-choice candidates this November and lawmakers to codify Roe into law. Congress members on both sides of the aisle are also weighing in. I am angry because an extremist me, United right. States Supreme Court thinks that they can impose their extremist views on all of the women of the Somebody, likely somebody inside the court itself, leaked a confidential internal draft to the press, almost certainly in an effort to stir up an inappropriate pressure campaign. Chief Justice John Roberts has ordered an investigation into the unprecedented leak, calling it, quote, an egregious breach of trust. Meanwhile, Governor Glenn Youngkin won't say if he would push to change abortion laws here in the Commonwealth. This as abortion rights activists are protesting right now outside the federal courthouse in Richmond. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco is learning what it could mean for Virginians when a final decision does come down from the Supreme Court. Jackie, good evening. Hey guys, well, you may have just heard it. Roaring chants from well over 100 abortion rights advocates right now in downtown Richmond, who moments ago were shutting down streets as they marched near the state capitol. Of course, all of this comes as new Republican leadership in the state means that new restrictions on the procedure are not out of the question. calls to abolish abortion at the state capitol last week. But new GOP Governor Glenn Youngkin not saying if and how he'll seek to change Virginia's laws. I do support the fact that this should be a state decision. Um, that state decision is one that we're going to have to work with our legislature on what we do. Um, and as I said, I think that there's common ground on this. Youngkin says he won't share specifics or speculate until he sees a final decision from the United States Supreme Court. This, as a leaked draft opinion, suggests a conservative-leaning bench may overturn Roe versus Wade, one justice calling it, quote, egregiously wrong from the start. A reversal in federal protections could immediately trigger abortion bans in several other Republican-led states. In Virginia, a proposal to ban abortion after 20 weeks gestation, with some exceptions, was recently blocked by the state Senate, still narrowly controlled by Democrats. We will not see a rollback if we continue to maintain a majority in the Virginia Senate. But that won't stop lawmakers like Republican Senator Amanda Chase from trying again. I believe that life begins at conception and I'm going to support all pro-life legislation that comes out of the General Assembly 100 percent. The pending Supreme Court decision reinforcing the stakes of future elections as Congress looks at passing nationwide abortion protections. Democrats like Representative Abigail Spamberger won re-election by razor-thin margins, now back on the ballot this fall. Safe and legal abortion is, is something that's been protected under law and the right to privacy for decades now. Uh, and the idea that there'd be a full reversal there um, is is deeply, deeply troubling. Now, as this crowd of abortion rights advocates continues to grow louder, it is worth noting that with the 2022 legislative session having just wrapped up in Virginia, the General Assembly likely is not going to be considering any new abortion restrictions until next year. That is, unless Governor Youngkin decides to call a special session, but so far no indication that he plans to do so. Live in Richmond, I'm Jackie DeFusco, 8 News. All right. But then again, you never know. For more reactions from Virginia lawmakers on this possible reversal of Roe versus Wade and the document leak, head over to our website at WRIC.com.